So today I'm going to go over a quick setup tutorial, kind of just some features and you know how to set up and use uh, Trade of 8, specifically the web version. I don't necessarily, I don't use the like the actual program that you can put on your computer. Uh, when I just started, I just went to the website, called it a day. But essentially, you might have your when you initially log in, it, you might have it look like this. You have your DOM or you know DOM on the left side and the chart here. And just to go over some basics, on the actual chart itself, on the top left, you're going to be seeing you know different things that you can do, uh, time periods, whatever time period you want to make or have here. You can make a custom time. You can make it in tick value if you don't want to use time, pretty much whatever you want. Uh, the candles, different versions here. We also have the chart settings. If you have any, uh, so in this section here, we have it showing the fills and the orders and stuff like that. Order lines, and as an example, let's say I put an order here, it'll have the order on the actual chart. And I'll get into that a little later. But essentially here, uh, just different options so you can customize it. If you want to show your orders, your order lines, when you got in, when you got out, stuff like that, you can edit that here. In the chart elements, this is essentially, you know, the, the colors of the candles, um, the bodies, if you want to change them to colors and stuff like that, uh, the number of bars to load pretty much whatever you want, different time frames and such. I kind of just left that basic. Indicators, when you do log in for the first time, more than likely there'll be like moving averages. If you don't want any of that there, you can just go in here. Um, more than likely, you might have some, like something like this. Just go into your indicators, or actually, whoops, let's go here. You can go to your chart elements and you'll see all the indicators that you have open. Just You can either hide it or just completely remove it, whatever you want. There are also, you know, volume if you want to add that. Pretty much indicators here. Uh, there's community indicators as well. I don't really use indicators um, besides like fibs. So can't really speak on too much on the community uh, the community indicator portion now let's say you want to add a another chart on the top left we're gonna go up here where it says add modules and then you're gonna take whatever it is that you may be looking for and you're just gonna drag it and place it pretty much wherever you want so if you want like four charts or five charts or literally whatever you want, you can customize it like this. Now, if you want to put in specific tickers, pretty straightforward. When you're on the chart, let me actually just close this. And we'll just stick to one for now. So if you want to add a different ticker, you can bring it up here. Let's just say you're looking for MNQ and choose that and there you have it you have the m and q chart pretty straightforward the data box is just like this section here so if you want to take that off or on stuff like that right here you also have your drawing tools you know your trend lines fibs if you want to type some stuff on the screen literally whatever you want you can find that all here Now, one thing that I love, um, I'm a little, I know some people love to use TradingView. Personally, I do too. Well, at least anyway, I used to use it a lot more than I do now. Um, of course, the layout is a lot prettier and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily like the slowness. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't like, like the slowness of inputting orders on TradingView. 
compared to let's say tra uh, trade of eight or ninja trade or stuff like that um sometimes the orders lag when you input them on trading view and as far as i know uh, maybe they've updated it since i last used it but when you go to place an order uh, let's say for the sake of the conversation i put a buy limit in trading view you know i type in the amount that i want to get in etc the contracts and then I want to put a take profit and stop loss in the order panel. You will have to click stop loss and take profit to bring it up. But what you can do on trading view, what I like with the ATM settings right here, pretty straightforward. You can make different settings here. So let's say for my set 10 points, this one, as soon as I place my buy or sell, as we can see here, I have my stop loss at 10 points and then my take profit at 15 points or whatever it is that you want to add it um, on. And it's instantaneous. So I don't have to like fumble around. I just go in. Cool. I want to get in at this price. Let me put buy and I'm good to go. Done. I don't have to fumble around in the order and the order um, placement is instant. And there's a bunch of different odd things that you can do. Like here, there's just a simple one take profit and stop loss all in the same order but you can get a little creative with like auto break evens so on this one for the sake of the conversation let's just say i have 10 contracts in total i'll have it here so let's say i put a buy limit um it says uh plus five but it's actually two orders of plus five totaling the 10 contracts that i have but essentially with this specific setting that I have up is it'll trim five contracts automatically and then it'll automatically bring up my last five contracts to break even and then it'll have the last five contracts take profit here. So I don't have to do anything with the trade. It'll automatically do everything for me. So there's a lot of different combinations that you can go into when you're making your ATM settings. And there's different ones, like you could do it ticks or delta price, whatever you want. You can like add different parameters and stuff like that. It could be regular stop. Uh, you can do trail trailing stop. So like if your the position goes ten points in your in your favor automatically, uh, you can set it to pretty much move up the stop loss like every ten points or forty ticks, pretty much whatever you want. Really cool feature, love it. One thing to note. If you're using the DOM to place orders, just keep in mind if you're putting, let's just say, the bid price is here, as we can see, going up and down. I usually do limit prices. I don't really buy market or use buy stop orders. Buy stop orders, I usually do on the actual chart here. But from, from my experiences, if you place a buy like let's say you want to buy at this price right here thinking you might want to do a buy stop for me it's always done a market buy if i try to place the buy order above the ask or the above the bid price so keep that in mind if you want to do buy stops go on the actual chart to set that up now if you're doing sell limits you know i can set one up here and then it'll have one order just hanging out there waiting So just keep that in mind. And then, like I just did earlier, you can just click on the specific box to cancel that order. Or you can go here, exit at market, and close all pending orders. You can click on that as well. Or actually up here too. Whatever you want, either one. If you have a order here, you'll just exit up here to cancel everything. Anyway. One thing to note as well, the same thing with the ATM settings here, let's say if I have this one set, just because you have it set here does not mean that it's automatically going to be placed here on the DOM when you place an order on this side. So make sure that your ATM settings, that you have it set up here as well, because if not, you're going to be opening a position with no take profit and no stop loss that you have to manually um work on uh what else pretty straightforward right up here you have the quantity of the uh the amount of contracts that you want to buy something that is very very important 
that I want to point out is when you add a new ticker, it's going to have the amount of contracts that you last used. So if you're using five like mini or micro contracts and then you go to like a mini like NQ or ES and you're using like micro NQ or micro ES, double check that you have the amount of contracts that you want because what you don't want is to go from five micros and then go to the, the minis and then you have five contracts there ready to go. So just be mindful of that. You don't want to place a five contract order for a mini thinking it's a micro. Been there, done that. It's not fun. Anyway. Um, other than that, uh, pretty straightforward for the application or for the program. I highly recommend that if you are new at it, you know, just demo and get used to it without actually using real money as always because what you don't want is to mess up and then whatever it is that you're in goes 20 30 40 points in an instant against you and you don't know how to get out but yeah other than that uh that's pretty much it for today of course any other questions that you guys may have feel free to message me put in the comments below and i will talk to you guys later peace